When I was a teenager, I built a business from complete scratch that made over a million dollars. And in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how I did it and exactly what I would do if I could go back, restart, and be in that same position, building a business from the ground up and trying to scale to over a million dollars. So not that this really matters because it's not the reason I was successful, but Shopify dropshipping was what allowed me to cross my first million dollars in online revenue. But it's not by any means the reason I was able to make a million dollars at such a young age. And I truly believe that no matter what business model you choose, it doesn't really matter as much as the other things that I'm about to describe. Number one, I was disciplined. Number two, I was willing to learn. And number three, I was willing to endure pain and hardship. This is the three things that you guys need, need, need to have. This is very important because you guys, the only difference between where you're at currently and where you wanna be is the knowledge on how to get there. If you guys knew exactly how to get there, you would be there. Even if something doesn't work out, even if I lose money, I don't give a f That is a win to me because I learned something from it. Now at least I know what not to do. The second thing is going to be disciplined. Without discipline, you won't get anywhere. You won't even get out of bed. You gotta get out of bed if you wanna achieve anything. And if you don't have enough discipline to even get out of bed in the morning or even get up and go work out or do whatever you're trying to do or achieve whatever you're trying to achieve, you're not gonna get anywhere, right? You could be super uncomfortable. You could be super comfortable or you could just be regularly comfortable and just content. I would never want to be in the middle because that's the most dangerous because people will get stuck in this middle and feel like since they're average and they're doing just as good as everybody else around them, they feel like they've done something good because everybody else around them tells them they have. Oh, you got a good job. Good stuff. Oh, you went to college and got a degree. Amazing job. But when somebody says, oh, you're starting an online business, they think, oh, you know, okay, like good luck. Like, yeah, whatever, right? But they don't say that about things that are average, right? Because people like people who are similar to them. So if you're hanging around friends in high school or college or outside of those years even and in your older ages, they're likely friends that go to the same college as you, that take similar classes to you, or they're either friends that work the same job as you, and that's why you're friends, which is great. Have friends, but know that they're your friends for having fun. Be disciplined enough to take time to your Self because if you're around a bunch of people who are the same as you, who are learning the same things as you, hanging out with the same people as you, you will not get further because you're so comfortable in the middle around all these people who are so similar to you. I try to spend as much time by myself as I can, right? Because when I'm by myself, I'm thinking of ideas that could push further for others. It's not a selfish thing. It's a selfish thing if you aren't about yourself. It's a selfish thing if you're not the best you. Because if you don't take care of yourself first, how do you ever expect to take care of kids, a family, your loved ones? How do you ever expect to do any of that if you can't even take care of your God himself? Having discipline in your daily routine doing things that you know are good for you every single day. For example, one thing I've done for a long time and I continue to do and I always do is cold showers. Cold showers absolutely suck. For those of you guys who are wondering if cold showers ever get easier, they don't. Sometimes it's so cold that I'll put shampoo in my hair before I even step into the shower because I want to make it as quick and effective and efficient as possible. And now I know a bunch of you guys are going to roast me in the comments saying I probably stink because I don't take long showers, but I do take Take effective showers. I clean myself. I always smell good. So you guys don't got to worry about me. You guys need to understand that no matter what level of success you're trying to reach or no matter what you're trying to get to, there's going to be unexpected roadblocks that come up. 99% of things are going to be the things that you know you need to do, right? Your to-do list, build your website, pick your products, whatever it is that you're trying to pursue. But there's a couple percent that you don't expect. And that's what kills 99% of the competition, which is a really good thing if you're willing to do what nobody else will do do because there's a reason nobody else will do it and that's because it's hard. If nobody else does it and you're trying to be that 1% of people that does, you will achieve massive success. So although doing the things that you don't want to do might be hard, it's the best that you could possibly do for yourself because it allows you to get so far ahead of the people who are not willing to do that thing, almost make it impossible for anybody to catch up with you or for anybody to be on your same level. With that being said, like, subscribe. My name is Jeremy Ray and I'll see you in the next video.